Hey, you guys. Good morning. I was up very late last night. Um, working hard, working hard for you guys. Um, <laughs> anywho, I, uh, finished up a bunch of journals last night and, um, I have them listed on Etsy. I decided it's probably better if I go ahead and just do the listing before I make the video, um, because I said I was going to do that with one of my other journals. Um, I made the video and then I said I would have it listed by that, you know, the end of that day and I didn't get it done. So yeah, my bad. Um, so to force myself to actually get it listed, it, I just decided to do it ahead of time. Anyway, whatever. Um, okay. So, um, I finished up two of the journals where I had done the covers with the um, beeswax. So, um, yeah, one of them um, turned out pretty chunky. Um, I guess they both are, but um, this one in particular has a whole lot of stuff in it. Um, seems like it has more, um, you know, stuff than this one. So I don't know. Anywho, it does actually have more pages for sure. So, um, yeah, so let's flip through these and, um, so you guys can see what's inside. Okay. So, you know, um, I did make a video of, um, the process of the, um, the beeswax, um, treatment, you know? And, um, so if you haven't seen that, if you haven't seen that, go ahead and, um, and take a look at that video. It's actually a pretty cool process and it's really, really fun to do. Um, and I think I actually worked on this cover in the video. I can't remember exactly, but maybe. Anywho, so I was going to try to like, you know, embellish this a little bit more and, you know, maybe add some flowers or, you know, whatever, but I decided that I really liked it the way it was and, or is. And, um, yeah, so I like it, you know, it's kind of understated, but, and, you know, um, I didn't coat the, the cover after doing the beeswax treatment with anything. I just, you know, left it natural the way it, the way it is. And, you know, you would think that, that, um, that the wax would feel like tacky or sticky or something, but it totally doesn't like it feels super smooth and it's very, very, very sturdy. You know, I mean, if I took a hold of the, you know, like if I grab this little piece right here and I just like pulled that, obviously, you know, it's going to come off, but who does that? So anyway, I do want to mention that, you know, if you do, um, wind up with this journal or any of the journals that I've made with the beeswax and, um, you see that the, you know, maybe you leave it in a hot car or, you know, some other kind of heat source, um, gets to it and you see that the wax is kind of, um, melting or something, which it takes a quite a bit of heat for that to happen. Um, you know, like a heat gun, you could, you could just like secure everything back down. Right. Uh, that's not going to happen unless, you know, you're not as careful as maybe you could be. Anyway, I hate to put it like that, but, um, that is kind of, the way it is, it's, it's wax, you know? So anyway, um, so here's the back, but it's really sturdy you guys. Seriously. It's, it's, you know, it's very durable. Um, and, uh, anyway, so I went ahead and attached, uh, you know, a couple of tiles, um, and some charms. There's a key on here, like an old, an old, uh, brass key and like a metal washer, you know, um, on the ball chain closure, which is, a, um, a hitch post. And then, um, one of my little tiles attached to a piece of ball chain, um, with an eyelet and the upper corner on the front. I did, um, add an eyelet on the back at the bottom. So if you wanted to add some more charms, um, you could definitely do that. Um, I didn't put one here just because it just didn't work out, you know, to do that. Um, so from now on, I will try to do that before I stitch the signatures in so that, um, it's easier to kind of, you know, get it attached. So anyway, so three signatures, um, 
pretty pretty fat little book um I'll just flip through it and I'm not going to pull out every single item um, because I am going to do both journals in this video but um, I'll give you a pretty good idea of what's in here okay um, so here's the tag that I had made well quite a while ago uh, with one of my with one of my little clusters on there um, and then ah, get back in there um, there's a, just a journaling card there and also a cluster on the front um, and it's not a tuck spot it's just you know it's glued down and then there's a little like bundle of different um, you know pieces of ephemera um, some note paper um, a bridge score sheet that kind of thing and just about all of the you know all of the paper other than book pages uh, is going to be copy dyed um, so here's a like a vintage postcard in here and then a journaling card on that side and then basically um, you know same kind of stuff on the on the other side there's a um, advertisement from an old magazine and some uh, sheet music some pages from a really really old atlas that I picked up and I did include a, um, a book plate in the in the journal so that you could you know make it your own um, a little photograph somewhere in Rome I think Right. some interesting book pages in here <clears throat> this is a little image of a, a fairy that I stitched onto the front of this card like I said I'm not going to take every single item out but I do want you to see um, you know what's in here so it's a couple of cards in each one of his pockets Journaling card there, and this is also a tuck spot right here on the front. That's my grandma right there. <laughs> Some um, there's a little tag with a paper flower and a ticket and that kind of stuff. There's a, a card catalog um, card. There's a um, a gin score sheet lots of empty um, pages for journaling in the book and yeah so if you know you're looking for something that is going to give you a lot of space for writing um, this might be a really good option And that's the end of the first signature. I love these old um, love uh, postage stamps. I just think they're so pretty. I, for some reason, I, I acquired a whole bunch of them in this one collection. Here's another postcard. another little bundle of um, you know paper and ephemera um, in a paper clip mom's cleaning apparently today <laughs> we're gonna work on getting her Etsy shop stock today so This is one of those little um, images with um, a collage behind a piece of acetate stitched on the front.
just a you know relatively quick flip through here. Whoa! This is a flyleaf page from a Reader's Digest. It's another postcard. Another card catalog card and a journaling card in that pocket. Some advertisements uh, from an old magazine and another one of those gin score sheets. Some more Atlas paper. And this could be used as a tuck spot here under this. Um, this is like a piece of an envelope. Pretty chunky. I mean, it gets a little bit difficult to hold this book open. Um, so there's a couple of uh, cards in, in these two pockets with um, an image from the... Uh, it's the Garden Flowers in Color book. And then um, I just collaged a couple of other little um, pieces in there with some acetate and stitched it all together. And this one's kind of similar. There's a little tuck spot behind this playing card, and that's a flip out. And another bundle of ephemera and journaling cards and things like that. Just a little pocket. These are actually like uh, Project Life cards that I coffee dyed. And some more, this is a piece of coffee dyed um, cardstock and another piece of Tim Holtz um, paper in that pocket on the back with one of my clusters attached here. Okay, so there's that one. And this is the smaller of the two. <laughs> um, so let's take a look at the other one. Um, this one I actually used a uh, seam binding. It's like two um, two layers of seam binding holding this one together. Um, oh, so on the front of this one we've got um, it's a paper napkin that's been decoupaged with the beeswax onto some heavy cardstock, and then um, I just basically glued it onto the cover. Um, underneath that though is actually crackle paste. Um, with the uh, walnut ink stain so um, and then I just constructed the spine using some heavy canvas and um, some ticking fabric and that kind of stuff ticking cloth whatever um, and then there's a little bit more collaging on the back with the same napkin and some random like ephemera there's a little um, handwritten letter here and um, I used a lot of like fragile type of like ephemera um, with the beeswax just because it really stabilizes it and it's a good way to you know be able to use it um, when it when it doesn't you know withstand um, being handled on its own so I appreciate that about the wax and there's a couple of like paper flowers on here and again very sturdy you know I can um, I can run my hand across this and you know, I do not feel like any of this is going to lift or anything. So that wax is a really cool finish. Um, so then I've got a couple of terms on here. Um, this is like, um, kind of like an art tile, I guess. And then one of those little um, key tags with a picture of my dad and his brothers and their grandma. <laughs> um, and then a little rhinestone heart and a bead on a piece of ball chain. So like I said, seam binding closure. Um, and this is also three signatures. So 
It's a big one. It's a, this is a fat book. <laughs> um, tons and tons of writing space in here. Um, I took like, you know, full sheets of um, coffee dyed um, uh, <laughs> scrapbook paper, folded it up and stuck them in some of the pockets. Lots of book paper, old maps, sheet music, coffee dyed coffee paper. Here's a little um, collaged image um, with the acetate again. A couple of journaling cards in here. Another card catalog card in here. And a piece of Tim Holtz paper. I'm sure you guys recognize the Tim Holtz paper. But <laughs> Lots of empty pages for journaling. Um, basically, um, you know, I just try to fill like the pockets and the envelopes and that kind of stuff. And then I just attach a few um, paper clips with some additional little journaling cards and stuff throughout the books. That's kind of what I've been doing lately. Um, and then here's just some some journaling cards that I made um, with the beeswax um, decoupage method, um, and they're really cool. They just they feel really neat, and you can write on that with like a gel pen or something like that. This is actually a piece of um, coffee dyed origami paper. And some advertising from a old magazine. It's another Project Life card that I copy dyed. There's some flow paper in here. There's a butterfly that I had um, cut out of a greeting card and then coated with um, embossing powder probably like five or six layers of embossing powder um, glued it on here. I just love it. I think it's super, super cool. It's kind of crackled, you know, because it, um, when the um, embossing powder cools, it kind of curls up a little bit. And so you have to kind of like crack it to get it to lay flat again. Um, but I think it looks really neat. There's a few um, journaling cards in this, in this pocket. Um, and then I just made a little tuck spot out of a piece of that um, beeswax, like collaged paper on the front of this. There's a little tiny um, file folder with some goodies inside. There's another card with a stitched on image of a hummingbird. And a double pocket in the center. Another one of those pieces of um, scrapbook paper um, with the map image on it, fold it up. And there's a, a postcard from France. And that's the end of the first signature. I told you guys, it's a big book. <laughs> there's a lot in here. Um, this is, you know, coffee dyed scrapbook paper. And then, you know, throughout the book, I just attached um, some little tabs um, made out of linen um, that I coffee dyed. It was actually like a pair of pants that I hemmed and I saved the fabric, um, but I coffee dyed it and it turned out really cool. I'm actually thinking of just donating the whole pair of pants to my junk journals. I just love the way that fabric turned out. Um, so here's just a little pocket, um, the journaling card in there. And a little bundle of um, ephemera and journaling cards and this giant like arrow paper clip.
And there's a few cards in this little pocket. There's an order form. Some random coffee dyed paper. And this is a, the cover from some sheet music that I made pockets out of. It's a book page from this old um, like question and answer book. <laughs> I just think it's really neat. Another um, sheet of origami paper that I copy dyed. It's weird. The origami paper actually gets a little bit like sturdier after you copy dye it. It's kind of weird. All right, so that's the end of the second signature. And you'll probably recognize, you know, that flow book paper. I have a thing for flow book paper. <laughs> um, more, you know, images from the um, Garden Flowers and Color book. I just love that book. Some more coffee dyed paper tags. Kind of went with a green and yellow theme, I guess, in this book, sort of. <laughs> Maybe because it's spring, like I'm feeling, or almost spring, I'm feeling like, you know, flowers and bright colors. a couple more um, cards that I you know stitched together using images from that same book and layered you know with some fabric and things like that it's another bundle with the paper clip um, a little leaf paper clip there it's another flip out <laughs> Lots of really old ephemera in this book um, from some like pamphlets and things like that, just from all kinds of different um, sources, you know. There's another little fairy um, in a little yellow dress. And the back of the book has um, like a library pocket, well, li library style pocket. Um, this is actually part of a greeting card that I cut up and then um, an old um, postcard from like a bank yeah 1890 so all right and then there's a little cluster here on the back with the paper flower and that kind of stuff so all right so there's the second one um, and like I said both of these are um, listed right now in my Etsy shop so if you're interested uh, take a look and um, I will link my um, my store in the video description um, Thank you so much for watching you guys. I really really appreciate it and um, If you enjoyed the video or you know the journals um, Give give me a thumbs up on the video. I you know really do appreciate that also um, And it helps out so, um, you know, just take a second to do that if you don't mind. Um, and then, you know, if you haven't subscribed, um, make sure and do that. And then whenever I post new, um, you know, journal flip throughs or, um, you know, I go live, like actually today, I'm going to, I'm going to do a live stream, um, at 4 PM. Um, you know, I do that on Wednesday and Sunday. You'll get notifications if you click that little bell when you subscribe. So, um, but listen, thank you so much for watching. You guys take care and um, I love you. Bye.